Hi there, welcome back. Today I will show you a simple way of creating blur transitions in DaVinci Resolve 17 using the adjustment clip in the edit page. Select the edit point between the two clips. Press Ctrl T to add a standard cross dissolve transition. For this demo we extend the duration to 2 seconds. From the effects panel, drag and drop an adjustment clip to the timeline above the transition. Trim and align the adjustment clip with the transition. Go to the Open FX Filters folder, drag the zoom blur and apply to the adjustment clip. Move the playhead to the middle of the transition. Select the adjustment clip and open the effects tab in the inspector. Set zoom amount to 1. Mark a keyframe. Move the playhead to the beginning of the adjustment clip. Change the zoom amount to 0 and a new keyframe is added automatically. Go to the end of the clip. Set the zoom amount to 0 and create another keyframe. That's it, we now have a zoom in and out blur transition. If we turn on the open FX overlay, we can change the zoom position in the viewer to customize the zoom blur transition. But if we look closely, there are some weird circles near the beginning and ending of the transition. Not very noticeable, we can just leave as is. We can also change the blur type to stylized. Create keyframes for the smooth strength parameter. Set the value to 1 for the keyframe in the middle. Set to 0 for the beginning keyframe. And set the last keyframe value to 0 when the transition ends. The transition looks smoother now but it lacks the zooming effect. Add another adjustment clip above. Trim it to half of the transition duration. Turn on the dynamic zoom on screen controls. Change the green zoom starting box. The dynamic zoom control is automatically enabled. Click the swap button to set the zoom in effect. Alt drag to make a copy, to cover the next half of the transition. Click swap to reset it to zoom out. OK, now we have a smoother zoom blur transition. If we move away the zoom blur transition clip, we get a simple zoom in and zoom out transition. Similarly, we can create a radial blur transition. Keyframe the smooth strength parameter. Change the zoom position if you want. Or create a directional blur transition. Set keyframes for the blur strength. And we get a directional blur transition. If needed we can change the blur angle. We can also change the blur type to have slightly different transition looks. I prefer the ones with stylized type, as they look a bit smoother. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.